Today's Eye on MPI is brought to you by DigiKey and the letter C and the letter K. Yes, this is C and K. They make switches. Uh, we actually use a lot of their switches and buttons in our electronics, and so I was excited to see them show up on digikey.com slash new because I like to always feature uh, new and different suppliers. So this week, we're featuring the C and K illuminated LED backlit square switches. Check them out. These are really good looking switches. So they are um, illuminated. They have their switches, of course. Um, you can be SPDT or DPDT, I'll show both. Um, and then the top part is you see that kind of white translucent acrylic. Um, they have red and green LEDs in the, the back of the switch that you can control separately. And then the top cap can even be removed so you can uh, put um, like a, a gel or like a custom logo or marker or anything so you can have like backlit text or logos. Um, so this is the KLS uh, series. And they come in a couple different configurations. I think there's like six different options, three cap styles, uh, SPDT or DPDT. Uh, you can get gold or silver contacts. There's a big, big combo of different um, setups. Uh, you know, I, the things that they say, like the typical applications, this is where I see them. AV systems, um, you know, whenever you want to have like indicators to turn on or off different settings on an AV system. Uh, folks love to use illuminated switches. Um, these are nice and durable. You want good, reliable switches. Vending machines, you can, you can have it lit up, give some feedback um, when they press the button. Uh, kiosks, network equipment. So, you know, the, the consumer and industrial equipment, these are both good for. Um, they're very clicky. Okay, so um, the bottom, you can see on the left, there is the KLS-12, that's the SPDT type. You can see there's uh, one set of switches um, on the right side of the bottom PCB, common, normally open, normally closed. And then uh, the KLS-22, which is on the right side of the screen, uh, is DPDT. It has two switches, um, both with a common, both with a normally open, both with a normally closed. So you can get any of these in any kind of combo. Okay, uh, next up, the cap. So the cap is kind of the most noticeable, I mean, other than, of course, you know, the, the contacts. Um, the cap is very noticeably different. So this is the large square concave. And there's also the square flat and um, the square concave. And if you can't quite see the difference, um, I'll show all three of them on the overhead uh, as well. Uh, next up, you know, DigiKey stocks three different versions, but if you need a you know, particular combo, like for example, they only have red and green LED, you know, the, the two different LEDs um, built in, but you could have, you know, green and blue or red and blue if you wanted, um, or it looks like even they have an RGB version. Uh, they're custom. You're going to have to, of course, uh, contact uh, CNK or DigiKey and have them custom order it for you. But if you're getting a couple thousand switches, I'm sure they'll do, um, they'll do it for you and, and match the price as well. Um, and then the cap color, they only have the transparent one again. But if you wanted a different cap color, I guess you could have it be black or silver. Available it's on DigiKey, of course. Yeah, it's in stock. So um, let's go to the overhead because I want to show there. there it's, it's a switch. There's not a lot going on, but I do want to show the differences. Okay, so this is the square cap. Um, oh, there's also um, in addition to the cap sizes and um, the different. You know, this is uh, only one switch. This is SPDT. Um, there's also both momentary and latching. This is a, a latching type. Uh, so you can see this is a square type. Um, there is a little thing back here. I can, I can try to crack open the, the cap, although. Crack an oven. I didn't want to do it before the show because I was afraid I would, I would scratch it. No, okay. do it here. Do it live. Okay. That's cool. So yeah, Good you work. can remove it. And then you can even, oh, this is a little diffuser. You can see the little LED board underneath. Ah. You put the diffuser on top, and then you can put something in between the cap and the diffuser. Okay, so this is the, the and also show the LED, because this one actually showed up quite nicely. Okay, so um, yellow, because it's both colors mixed. Uh, let's turn on the red LED, red. And then turn on the green LED, green. And then both yellow. I mean, it's yellowish. Um, the red is really nice, the green is really nice. It does mix, but really, you, you know, the, the yellow, the, the green is kind of yellowish. Um, so I can tell the difference, but it's, it's hard to see from the overhead. Okay, so uh, regardless, oh, sorry. So this is the square cap. Um, 
Then there is the um, concave cap. So you see this one, the cap kind of comes over. And this one is definitely way better if you want to have some text inside. It goes all the way to the border of the um, switch body. So it's nice and large. This is also uh, on off, not momentary, I think. Yeah, this is the only momentary one I got. So the, this big one, this is the large cap. Um, so it definitely extends beyond. Uh, you still only get the center area illuminated, but I don't know if you want to have like a nice bezeled area. Um, the switch cap will do uh, the job. And uh, this one is uh, momentary. You see, very clicky, very nice and clicky. Uh, and then this version uh, is SPDT. And then this is what it looks like when it's DPDT. So they all have the same um, bottom pinout, but the caps may vary and, and whether they're momentary or latching may vary. So those are the three, I kind of got like a, a mix and match of the three different caps and uh, switch types and functions. Okay, and uh, the DigiKey uh, product ID is there I picked and one. Then the short there, URL. There's six different ones, but I yeah. pick one, um, but there's a series of them, so you, know, you can always uh, grab one of the other ones. They're all in stock. And we have a one minute video from them that we're gonna play. Take it away. Expanding on CNK's Switch IQ with a focus on innovation and quality, Today, we'd like to highlight the PLP16 and KLS series of illuminated push-button switches. These two series of push-button switches are designed to meet the industrial market requirements for both haptic and sound with a clear click feedback to allow for sharp and accurate control, and are offered in both momentary or locking versions. To give a wider variety of possible applications, both series also offer SPDT, single pole double throw, or DPDT, double pole double throw options. All KLS push-button switches are illuminated, while the PLP16 offers both illuminated and non-illuminated options. In addition to these similarities, the KLS series are all square-capped, on which they can have a custom logo etched or printed. They are also all through-hole PCB mounted and are designed for consumer and commercial electronics like control panels, vending machines, professional AV systems, and instrumentation. On the other hand, the PLP16 series are panel mounted with an industry standard 16 millimeter round panel. And that's this week's Eye on MPI. Yeah. Eye on MPI.